Indexing is a very important part when you are creating a rag. It is a data structure composed of document objects in Lama index. It will help you query your data set by an LLM model. And if you know about SQL, there also we have something like indexing. It will it help us to easily query data and also in a faster way. And in Lama index, we use the method vector store index to create these indexes. I'll show you how you can create indexing and also how you can query your data after creating this indexes. First, I'm going to load a text file on which we are going to create index. I will write here from llama underscore index dot code import simple directory reader. This will help us to read our text file. Now I'm going to make an object of this class and save it in a variable reader. Then I will call this simple directory reader. First I'm going to pass input file which is a parameter and inside this I'm going to read a text file named as paulsa.text and then I will convert this into documents and save it in this variable documents here. I will call reader.load underscore data and then I will print this documents object and here in the output you can see that the file name is Paul essay.txt so Paul is an author and he has written an essay so this these are the information that the essay contains now first we are going to create a LLM model because when we do indexing and when we want to query this LLM so we will need when we query these questions from this text file we will need an LLM model then only we can query it so for that purpose we will first create an LLM model and for that I will import some libraries import OS from get pass import get pass then from hugging face hub import logging so this is also your first video where you will see how you can create LLM model using hugging face in llama index so once I have this then I'll create a art environment variable I will write here not environment variable but a variable to log into this hugging face up I will write here hf underscore token and then I will call this function get pass and now I'll go to hugging face website to get my APIs key I will write here hugging face then I'll just go to settings And then I'll go to this access token and I will copy it from here. Now let me execute this code. I will paste the API key here. And now let's create our LLM model. For that, we have to first import the class Hugging Face Inference API. I will write here from Lama index dot LLMs dot hugging face import hugging face inference API. Now I will make an object LLM, then I will call this hugging face inference API. So in Langchain, we were using hugging face hub, and here we are using hugging face inference API to create all these models. And then I will pass model name and I am going to use mixture model. I will search here 
mixture so this is the model that I want to use it I'll just copy it from here and then I will paste it here and then I have to pass token parameter and token is nothing but HF token that we that uh, where we have saved our API keys and then I will press enter here and then LLM so we have created this LLM model now our next step is going to be to create indexing and for that we will first import vector index I will write here from lama index dot core import vector index and then I will make an object and the object name is vector underscore index and then I will call this vector index and to create indexing from this we will use the method from documents inside this I will pass our documents variable so this variable that we have created here because we want to create indexing on this document and then second we also have to use embedding model so I will write here embed underscore model and we are going to use local model from Hermin phase so what we are doing here is we are creating an index of this document and to create an index we need to convert this document into em embeddings and for that we are using one embedding model from Hugging Face that is known as or that we pass it as local so it will use the embedding model from Hugging Face. Now let us execute our code. Now comes the query how we can query this data that we have loaded in our notebook and for that we have to create something called as query engine on this vector index so let's see I will write here vector underscore index and if you see here it is still running so it has not completed its process but still I will go ahead and create other necessary things to save our time I will write here as underscore query underscore engine and then LLM is equal to LLM now it has created this query engine and on this I can query any question for that I will write here dot query and I will pass my question so I have loaded this text file Paul essay.x. I want to know who is this Paul here. So I will ask a question like who is Paul? And then I will write a question mark. And then let us execute our code. So it is getting answer for us. Now we got the answer here. Let me write print statement here. So we will get to see in a nice way or nice format. It says that I have asked a question who is Paul and the answer is Paul is the author of the text file Paul underscore essay dot text. That's so great. It has given me correct answer that Paul is the author of the text file that I have imported that is Paul underscore essay dot text. The text file contains an essay written by Paul about his experience with VAB. I don't know how to pronounce it. A startup he co-founded in the mid 1990s. The essay covers various aspects of the startup including the technology they developed and so on. So you see that we got an accurate answer 
when we use this query engine over this index document let's see let's say i want to ask another question so i'll just copy it from here paste it here and my next question is what is the hometown of the author for and let's see if we get the correct answer the hometown of the author Paul is Cambridge and that's correct this is the hometown of this author Paul so you see that if you want to use this query engine to get answers to your question you have to first create indexing if you do not create indexes you won't be able to do or you won't be able to ask questions to your LLM so this is the important of indexing when you are creating a rack system where you want to query your data set and these are the steps involved first you have to import your text file then second you will since you will need an LLM model to get your answers we will create our LLM model second and third we will do the indexing and for that we have to pass our document and also embedding model that will be used to create indexes and in this case we are using local because it is free from hugging face i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching